This is a chance for people, especially from the Republic of Brooklyn, New York, to see all the stuff I've had on my walls, in my homes, in my office, and in storage. Here at the Brooklyn Museum, the Spike Lee Creative Sources exhibit connects the director of Do the Right Thing, Malcolm X, Inside Man, and Academy Award-winning Black Klansman to the people, places, and ideas that have inspired him. The first thing they see is the posters from uh, wow. some of the films. Your mom would bring you here. Yes, growing up. Not just me, my siblings too. So not just the Brooklyn Museum, but plays, she was an libraries, educator. and she did a great job. As a kid, comics and baseball cards were his prized possessions. At 66, Lee's collection has evolved, and he's carefully curated half of his nearly 1,000 pieces of art and memorabilia for viewing. This is original album cover for the Bad Album. Right there, Prince's guitar. This is the original ANC flag, African National Congress. It was signed to me by Nelson Mandela and Winnie. To Spike, yours and stroke with Nelson Mandela. Wow. Vintage posters autographed by influential filmmakers also lining the walls. The great, great Federico Fellini. To my friend Spike, much work and much luck. This is signed me from Steven Spielberg. Spike, Jaws almost ate me alive. Your friend, Steven. <laughs> Godfather 1 and 2. Signed to me from Francis and galleries filled with sports memorabilia. This is the Knicks room right there. May 8, 1970, how was that game seven? This is the net for one of those games. My pa was taking me to Nick games. I'm like, me and my father were not sitting courtside. <laughs> we were in the last row. What's interesting about this too is there's very personal stuff in here. Yeah, the family section is very personal. And, and I just lost my father. Yeah. He was 94 years old. My father, Bill Lee, great composer, jazz bassist. He did the score for She's Gonna Have It. School days, do the right thing, more better blues. But what's funny is we were growing up, and my father would come in the house, and we hear Motown and the Beatles, turn that bad music off. He was a jazz purist. We were turning it down and put our ears <laughs> back to the, the little transistor radio. How did that household influence who you, you've become? If anybody's seen Crooklyn, that's the Lee family growing up in Brooklyn, New York. Where did this love of film come from. My father hated Hollywood films. Hated them. So I was my mother's movie date. It was to a college that those seeds came out. Lee's mother died during his sophomore year, but the third generation Morehouse College grad says he's the product of his parents and the legacy of his ancestors. This is my father, Bill Lee. This is my mother, my father's mother, and this is my mother's mother, Mama. Oh. She lived to be 100, and she put me through Morehouse NYU Graduate Film School. She taught art and saved the Social Security check 50 years for her grandchildren's education. My mother, my grandmother, they both went to Spelman. This is a letter my mother wrote to my father's parents on my birth and asked me. Wait, look at you. <laughs> Your grandson is here. He looks nothing like anyone on my side of the family. Oh, a black spiky hair. Wait, is that where Spike came from? No. <laughs> <laughs> this Spike was a tough baby. The baby's name is Shelton Jackson Lee. That's myself, my sister Joie, my late brother Chris, and my brother David, who's a photographer. This is Tanya and I underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Lee's wife of 30 years, Tanya, and daughter Satchel and son Jackson's portraits appear as well. What brings you joy? Number one is family. Mm -hmm. I know it's a cliche, but time flies. I mean, what you're a grandfather, right? Yeah. Come on now. What do you want your legacy to be? The legacy is really with Satchel Jackson. Jackson's worked for me now, 40 acres. Satchel's in grad school. She's a great photographer. And uh, just keep it going. What do you want people to know about Spike Lee? I know everybody in the world's not gonna be able to come here or want to see this, but I think that there's a great possibility of who they thought I was will be changed once they see this exhibition. Who do you think people think Spike Lee is? Depends who you ask. <laughs> that's the answer, that's the answer right there. 
I just I could have talked to him for hours. It was and it's a it's a fantastic exhibit yeah. and a great museum. So it, it's worth the trip over to Brooklyn. He's, he seemed full of like life and energy and very excited about this this new project. Well, it, listen, it, it it reflects him and his family. It, it's it's a complete look at him, you yeah. know, because he's he's a historian, he's a filmmaker, he's a philanthropist, he and he's a funny guy. Yeah. I, people don't and realize he didn't collect it. these things knowing he would have a museum one day. No, like just, these were just his favorite things. Things he loved. Yeah, he loves. Cool. Well, Spike Lee Creative Sources runs through February. Spike also a tenured professor at NYU where he attended film school. Spike's actually finishing up uh, a documentary right now on Colin Kaepernick. Uh, a lot more to our conversation and we'll have it all for you in an extended cut at 1030 this morning streaming on our Today All Day channel on Peacock or your smart TV. That was a great, yeah, conversation. great conversation. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.